Hi guys, Luton here. So with the release of uh, Armour 3 this week, I wanted to just go over some of the showcases, show some of the other things that we haven't really seen too much of as yet. Now this is the main battle tank showcase, and uh, it just shows us basically what the tanks are capable of and the kind of engagements you might expect. Uh, we start off in our deployment here, and we basically have to work down through the valley and uh, clear the town of uh, Molos. So let's get into it. Now tanks obviously, as always, going to be one of the most powerful forces on the battlefield. And... Uh, with the tanks in armor, it's kind of interesting how it can go. You have obviously your driver and gunner, but you can also take a commander position, which is what the game tries to put us into. Uh, but obviously, it's better to have a little bit more control yourself, which is why we'll change out to actually the gunner position when we get in there. Here's the town that we have to take, and it's just going to be telling us where we are, time of day, generally the kind of information of insertion. And uh, we're, we're being inserted by a light helicopter. I think it's uh, the Pawnee. This is our deployment location, and we're going to go get started with the vehicles. Okay, here we go. Now you'll see these weird green orbs here. The green orbs are basically, they're like a helping tool. Now this is meant to be a, a tutorial, okay, it's meant to be like a, a showcase for beginners. That's why this is enabled. But we can turn it off and obviously uh, I actually prefer to turn it off because it's a little bit irritating having giant green things. It's just to identify for you which is uh, an enemy, which is unknown or sort of unoccupied, which is uh, friendly. And I think if I turn off uh, extended HUD, that should do the job. Turn off friendly tag as well. Let's see. Nope, I think I know what I have to do. I think we have to uh, cycle through. Oh yeah, I'm going to put it to uh, regular as well. I think if I cycle through those. Extended hard is off. Okay, let's try now. There we go. Okay. So now that's off, we can get into our tank and get on the way. There's a couple of different vehicles here, you can see. I love the uh, the kind of engineering uh, shovel on the front of this vehicle. There's the Marshall, of course. I'm not entirely sure which this one is off the top of my head. I don't know if it'll tell us. Uh, it's a CRV-6E Bobcat. There we go. And you see how on the tooltip you can actually rearm from vehicles. So if you click on them, it'll give you the ability to kind of resupply which is really awesome. Now we're going to be getting in these, the M2A1 Slammer. And I'm going to be taking the role as the commander to begin with anyway. <clears throat> so you see, to begin with as a commander, you have this kind of top position. Uh, you're actually taking the role sort of as the little eyes. Let's move out. Now weirdly, when you are the commander, you actually kind of tell them now there we go. Now I've actually got hands off the keyboard right here. And uh, the AI, your friendly AI, will just drive for you. Well, oh, sorry about that road sign. So we're going to be moving up over the hill here to the first waypoint. Now the gunner will actually do the job of gunning, but I don't really want him to. So what I'm going to do is go to uh, the gunner's seat, which is, there we go, and I'm in the gunner's seat. But you can see I can still give commands to the driver. Uh, obviously in the gunner's seat I have control over the manual fire as well so I can change between the guns I've got an uh, M2000 LMG 6.5 mil and uh, a 120 mil cannon
Okay, so off we go. So we're going to have targets to engage as we approach the top here. You can see our first waypoint is up 500 meters ahead. Now my main shell is armor piercing. It's not really designed for engaging too many light other vehicles. So we're just going to want to focus on the machine guns for the minute. There we are, we've got targets up ahead. Holding fire. Got multiple targets here. Hitting them. You can see what I was saying about the AI before though, is they, they tend to just sort of take it. I think I clipped it. Yeah! What a shot! On the move! Let's move up. The good thing about the tanks in... Uh... Shit, hold up. Enemy tank. Head him down. Go down, guys. Go down. Take a seat. Let's move up. Yeah, the good thing about the tanks in uh, Armor 3, they do have a little bit more power in terms of uh, the engine. Whoa, that is a big rock. They can have all the power in the world. I don't think they're getting past that rock. But um, yeah, they basically will get past objectives a little bit more. And you can see, even on these kind of slow pieces of ground, which are a bit steep, it'll power through. They will just drive straight through trees very, very easy. Alright, we're taking some fire here, so we want to be a little bit careful about what's going on. Now we've got enemy units up ahead right here. Where's he? Some more guys at long range. Ah, oh, here we go. Two guys right here. But you can really see what I was saying about the AI. Sometimes they do. They tend to just sit and take it. Look at this guy right here. Should be running for his life. Now I can adjust the zeroing of my sights, but to be honest, seeing as we're kind of on the go, I'm just going to keep it at 600. I'm probably firing about sort of 700, 800 meters there. Uh, my vehicles moved up, so let's get on the move as well. That's an AA. No, he's possibly anti-tank. Let's engage these two guys, they're down. Kind of concerned as to whether or not that guy is still active. What are they shooting at here? Keeping my distance still. Let's go. Um, we're still keeping an eye on that uh, boat over there, but to be honest, it's not really a big threat to us, so that's why we've not. It's it's kind of going to be very difficult to take out as well. Yeah, I was concerned over here whether that guy went down, but I'm assuming that he did. Right, we're moving up to rejoin the rest of the team here. Let's have a look from the outside view. So we're powering on through. Got a bit of momentum right here. Hopefully we're just going to drive straight on through this lot. Yep, there we go. Power it through. Okay, moving on to the next waypoint. Before we take the turn, yeah, just drive through those trees. <laughs> the constant right left forward I, di I have to say I think you can disable that as well but um, right now we have not Whoop, I think a bit, a bit of collision right there wait watch out for the building guys no <laughs> ok 
Come on. This is the only trouble with having the. Uh, this is the only trouble with being the commander. They don't sort of react necessarily immediately as as much as it would if you were literally driving. So I'm like typing right, 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 and they don't actually move right. Anyway, we're moving up pretty fast now because we're covering this ground to get to the objective area. There we got firing coming. Just have a look, see what's going on here. It's targets. That looks like machine gun fire from a vehicle right there. Shit, more targets straight up ahead. Put him down. Sugar. Got a tank coming in. Now, obviously, you can see right here, I'm changing out with the optics. Uh, I haven't used them to this point, but this is a good time to use them. And we can't really see what's going on. I'm trying to pick out targets between things. I'm going to move up a little bit, see if I can get a slightly better view. Got to be careful here. Right, there he is. One hit down. That's disabled him. One more. Come on, reload. There we go. I get down. Oh crap, there's another vehicle. Missed it. I don't want to hit the edge of this building. There we are. That's the uh, wheel off, that'll disable it. Should have put him down with less than that though. Christ, my guys are moving up, let's go. But uh, that's one good thing about armor as well, it's just the level of detail that there is in everything. And uh, the vehicle combat is no exception. What's that right there? Oh crap. One hit on him. Oh, they're bailing out, that means he's going to go down. Hitting that wall. Come on, fire, fire. One more and he'll go. Ah, oh, he's down. He's down. Let's go. I think our team finished him off there. Yeah, so you can actually, like, if you hit uh, a wheel of a vehicle, that will actually disable it because it won't actually be able to drive it. You can still actually drive it as such, but it just won't be able to drive, if that makes sense. It'll just be very, very, very slow. Okay, this should be mission done now, I believe. Oh no, we've still got to regroup over this way. So this is pretty uh, strong for just a tutorial mission. You can imagine that when you're actually into the multiplayer, if you have a team of sort of three or four people, or it's more likely you'll have a squad, so you may have like sort of two teams of four or something like that. See how the sound is muted very much when... Uh, I think I accidentally hit him with the shell there. I thought we were taking another round there. Let's keep on the move. My guys ain't stopping. Still got 20 rounds left with the shells, that's good. Right. 
There's a lot of kind of command abilities available in armor if that's the role you want to play in the multiplayer or the single player. Let's go through these trees. Yeah, trees or no trees ain't stopping us. So if you're working tight with a squad and the guys you're with trust and will actually do what you're going to say, it works really, really well. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. So from here you can see our map as well where we've actually moved up to what our position is. Uh, you can see us right here. We're not actually on the town. You can see a target marked as well. Holy Christ! That was close. Let's see if we're outside the vehicle. This is night vision outside the vehicle. Not the same thing at all. Did you guys take out that vehicle? What is that right there? Yeah, it's still a vehicle, yep, yeah, I got it. One more hit, you should go down. Maybe not even one more, maybe one more after that. That should do it. Okay. Right, now we've got to move in onto the town. It is a bit annoying sometimes though that they put you into this. Ah, oh, there we are, we've, we've seized the town. Perfect. There's our objective complete. So basically we just had to clear the town of enemy forces. But what I was going to say was, it is a little bit irritating that you have to be either the driver or the gunner in this single mode rather than do the whole deal because constantly giving commands like that is kind of annoying, although I think we can turn it off. Um, but as I say, in multiplayer obviously you probably wouldn't have that option. When I have been working with someone uh, in multiplayer to do it, you obviously one is the driver and one is the gunner. There was that mission I did with Trev McNeil uh, where we had the marshal and we were moving up to clear out some of those AA positions. I actually posted that on a mission before uh, and we were working really well together. I'll actually try and find that, I think, because that was posted on the channel. Um, but it's really very easy to do when you're in multiplayer, but for single player, it's always going to be a little bit more clunky when you're working with the AI. Anyway, that was the tank mission, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Gives you a little snapshot of what you can expect with Armour 3, the kind of uh, gameplay and the mechanics that are available to you. Uh, and we're having much more stuff coming up this week uh, looking at Armour 3 I'm going to be getting back in with some multiplayer stuff doing some helicopter work um, I'm very new to the game in terms of helicoptering although I did fly for like 8 hours straight doing transport helicoptering uh, I may try and give a little tutorial about how you can handle the helicopter with just the mouse and keyboard so thanks for watching this guys hope you enjoyed if you have drop it a like as always and I'll see you next time for a little bit more Armour 3